Hey and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions and welcome to my update on the Vostok, Vostok Amphibian. Now uh, you might notice if you see my other video I've got it on a different strap. The Seiko strap was actually hurting my hand and leaving a mark just here. So I've, I've ditched that and I've just got it on this green sort of canvas strap at the moment. So the strap came just after I made the video so here's a Here's a picture of it on the new strap. Again, this is another strap I got from Sectime in the UK. This one had a really good range. This one was easy, it was a 22 mil. I really like this style, I really like the green. I think it goes really well with the, the Vostok. And I did also order a black rubber strap with a red kind of stripe on it, but I prefer it on this green more sort of military style strap. Got really nice buckle and, and keepers on this one. Nice chunky brushed, uh, really comfortable. And I think it really suits this watch well. I just wanna sort of start this video by saying how much I am enjoying this watch and I love this watch. And I do understand that some people don't get it. And I've seen reviews where people absolutely slate these watches. And it's kind of like, it's, it's fine if you slate it after you've reviewed it and you've had one, that's up to you. Um, it's, it's difficult to review something that you don't like in the first place because you've got preconceived ideas about it. Now, my preconceived idea about this was I didn't really understand what the hype was about, but I didn't have any sort of real negative um, feelings about it. And uh, my experience has been fantastic. And a lot of the things that people think of flaws or faults, I just find as quirky and uh, it's kind of, if, if it's a consistent quirkiness or a consistent, in your opinion, fault, then it's not a fault, is it? It's probably designed into the watch. So I know these do polarise and, you know, some people love them, you know, a few people hate them, but I actually love it. And to be honest, since I've got it, it hasn't been off my wrist and that, you know, speaks volumes. One thing I do want to show, and I'm actually going to do a demonstration of this because I know people struggle with this, is the... Obviously, it's, it doesn't hack, and and the way it, the way it winds and the way the crown works is all a bit funky. And uh, when you're actually setting the time, you have to sort of put pressure on the crown this way, this way, uh, to get the the hands to engage. And it's kind of designed like that, so I haven't got a problem with it. And also, when you're setting the date, there's no quick set date, but there is a way of setting the date quicker and I'm gonna demonstrate that now. So you unwind the crown as normal. It doesn't really pop, it just goes all wobbly. And when it's all wobbly, you know it's un unwound. If I don't pull it to the right, if I just turn it, it will now, it will just tighten up and screw back in. If I pull it to the right and turn it, it hand winds. But you have to pull it and it, it feels a bit, a bit weird, but once you get used to it, it's okay. It's hand winding, it's okay but you do have to put pressure on it, otherwise it just screws back in. Okay, so now I've got to pop the crown out. It doesn't really pop, there you go, it's gone, right. So now, it's if you turn it, nothing still happens, but if I put pressure on it, again, pulling it this way to from, from left to right, I can now change the time. Now, the, the second hand, it kind of does some weird and funky things, um, and that's fine. Uh, sometimes it stops, you can kind of get it to stop with, if you get the pressure right, there you go, I can I can hack it. So I've got that stopped now. If I just release it, see it jump there? So it's not, you know, it's not really hacking, but you can kind of fiddle around with it. So on to the date. So we got it on the fourth, which is the right date. Now this is gonna be a bit of a pain because I'm gonna set it to the wrong date. I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. And I want you to watch carefully. I've got to go around. Right, now you saw the date flip. It's flipped to the fifth. Okay, so now say I want to move to the sixth. Instead of going round twice, as soon as it's flipped, you don't need to go any further forward. So I'm only 20 past the hour and that flipped and I actually went a little bit further past than I really need to. Now just watch that, that, that date there. As I go back, you'll see it do something. You'll see it start to shift. See it's shifting up now. When it drops, There, see it's dropped. 
now you can go back and that will flip over again. So we've gone back to half past eight, basically. So now I'm gonna go forwards. And I'm gonna do it a bit slow this time. So it's, it's instantly popped to six and I'm only 10 past 12. So then again, I will wind back. See it rising, 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 still rising, dropped. As it drops, then I can go back. So as long as I wait for it to drop, and again, let's see how close we can get. Oh, seven, look at that, bang on 12 that time. So now I can go back, it will rise, and drop, and then I can go back. And there you go, straight away, right on the 12, it pops the date over. And that's how, that's the quickest way to change the date. Now, I know that's not as easy as quick set date, but this watch doesn't have quick set date. And that's kind of one of those things you just have to deal with. But, you know, I, I quite enjoy messing about with it and doing stuff like that. It's funky. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with, with being a little bit funky. Once you get used to putting side pressure on this crown, it, it's, it's not a horrible experience. So that's, um, that's my sort of little update. I'm just gonna, also on my review, I didn't show the back of the, the watch. There's um, lots of Russian writing on there. Yeah, so I just wanted to do a, a quick update and um, share that little bit of information with you and the fact that I'm, I'm loving it. It's, um, mine's extremely accurate. Um, I know you can regulate these, but I haven't, I certainly don't need to regulate this. It's absolutely fine. Um, no issues with accuracy whatsoever so far. And uh, I'm gonna, this is gonna come off the wrist now because I'm going away. So it'll be, we'll be in G-Shock territory. But, um, and then I'll wait for the date to catch up. Look, no, um, and once I've got it on, um, the new straps and I've worn it some more, I will do a final sort of long-term review update on this, but um, I'm just I'm just loving it. And it, let, let's just also bear in mind the cost. Uh, I mean, I got this one for less than 50 pounds, I think it was. And I think even if you buy it new in the UK, you can pick them up for about 75 quid. So I, I still think that's really good value for money. That's, you know, for something it's a bit, it's, you know, it's really moddable. It's a bit unusual. It's a bit funky and it's a bit quirky, but I love it. Now, this is GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. I'll see you.